Your Excellency is distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to recognize the presence of the array on our Kankafu of Yoruba land. The person of Iba Gani Adams. You are welcome, sir. This is a big round for him. I also like to recognize the presence of Chief Innocent Obiego, the leader on Oanese, New York. You are welcome, sir. The next person taking the tribute, please join me as a welcome the representative of the former student activists and leaders in Nigeria, Mr. Larry Aru Kundade. Please a big round of applause for Mr. Larry Aru Kundade as a step forward. On behalf of uh, former students from this military rule, for which he paid the price of expulsion at the University of Berlin, now Obafemi Awolowo University, but got reinstated through the efforts of the Alao Akabashorun chambers. I pay tribute to Ika Odumaki for teaming up with change seeking elements after leaving the university of the Lexis School of Thought by being part of the labor militants, the precursor to the democratic socialist movement. I also pay tribute to Yinkus for teaming up with the human rights and pro-democracy group. He was my successor as the editor-in-chief of Democracy Echo, the journal of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. And of course, I pay tribute to him for being one of the heroes of the June 12 struggle, for which he, along myself, some departed comrades like Comrade Rebi Ogulano and Rotimi Webi, Comrade Rotimi Sankoe, Comrade Ayurele Arubunade and others, mobilized forces along what we call the Shango Water. Alabado and Ikeja Axis in those days when millions moved on the streets to fight for the restoration of uh, the June 12 in the mandate. Finally, I pay tribute to Inca for being courageous, for being fearless, for speaking his mind, even if you disagree with him. As I mentioned in my written tribute to him, sometimes one wish that he had pursued a career in the area of literary works because he was such a brilliant writer who would lace his writings with idioms and proverbs to make a delightful reading. In his death, I want to say that uh, the movement for the revolutionary transformation of Nigeria has lost a vocal voice. The movement for the right to self-determination which must be recognized and acknowledged, has also lost a fighter in a fighter. But we thank God that despite his young age, we are all here to pay tribute to the work that he has done. And what cannot be denied is that he has left indelible footprints on the sands of the Nigerian time. He is forward to my book, Fella, Yesterday's message as today's reality, he quoted the words of Fela Anikula Pokuti when you know, Fela said that uh, every one of us in this world have you know, our path well laid for us. I think Yika came, took his path, treaded the path successfully, and certainly became a hero of Nigerian peoples. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Rest in peace, Yinkus. Aluta Continua, Victoria Asata. Thank you very much, sir. Next speaker, 
It's my pleasure to introduce to the podium for the person standing in for the Campaign for Democracy in Nigeria group. Please join me as I welcome Deacon Bayo Obatugashi to the podium. Please a big round of applause for him as he step forward. Greatest Nigeria people, we are here this afternoon not to mourn Yegar Dumaki, but to celebrate him and to celebrate the footprints which he left on the sand of history. He came, he fought the battle, and he won the crown. It gladdened my heart a few days ago when a former governor in Nigeria here and a political big week. I found that Nyeka was recognized as one of those that fought for political liberation of this country. I'm happy, and the testimony that has been coming in since his demise few days ago as acknowledged him as an achiever. He has done what a mighty hundred year old man could not achieve. We appreciate him for the few years he spent at the surface of land and the achievement that was recorded in his name. We lost him, but we are happy that forever he will remain in our hearts. Adieu. Nyenka Utumaki, sleep well. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency is distinguished, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next to speak about this great man we're here to celebrate today. Comrade Nyenka Utumaki, please join me as I welcome the SSA to the governor of Delta State of Civil Society. Join me as a welcome, Mr. Rex, and you go to please come forward. A big round of applause for him as he step forward. machinations 
an onslaught of the Levitan political systems. Yinka Odomaki is a brute and a terror against the forces of evil and a compromising watershed comrade, humble like a lion, but fierce. Humble like a lamb, but fierce like a lion. Indeed, is an exemplar of the finest breed of God, of all of God's creation. We salute every one of you who have come here to stand, to witness that to live is to be a man of impact. Yiga has added more life to his years and more years to his life. I do you call me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to recognize the president of the former governor of Open State and president of Senator Ipikunle Amosun. You are welcome, sir. Please, a big round of applause for you. And in the center, I do have Ambassador Tuji Ishola Sharafat. You are welcome, sir. Also, with him is Honorable Miki Kazin. You are all recognized. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and please permit me to welcome to the podium the senior pastor, the Trinity House Church, and person of Pastor Itwa Igudalon. Please be in our plus point. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is my duty this afternoon to welcome all of us to this service of songs and day of tributes for a truly, truly outstanding patriot, comrade, and great Nigeria. There are not many Nigerians of the type, the shape, the figure, the strength, the competence, and the commitment of Comrade Yinka Odumake. And it makes it a little bit more extraordinary when he found himself married also to another compatriot and comrade, and both of them became a phenomenal pair. I salute you, Joe. I commiserate with you. I ask the Lord to strengthen you. I ask the Lord to be with you and the children. And I ask the Lord to comfort you. What has happened is what will happen and what will always happen to every man. So we're going to begin this service of songs by asking the Almighty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, to come and be here in our presence and therefore declare the program open. Let me thank all of you for coming. Let me thank you for your outpouring of love and concern. Let me thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. And let me thank in advance the organizing committee of these events, led by Senator Afiku Yomi, for doing a phenomenal job. Can I please ask that we rise this afternoon as I take the opening prayer and declare this service of songs and day of tributes open. My Father and my God, I thank you. Because the Bible says that in all things we give you thanks. We thank you for Yinka's life. We thank you for what he achieved. We even thank you for the things that he failed to achieve. But most of all, 
we thank you for an impactful life. Please accept my thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether your people say amen or not, accept my thanks. Amen. Father in heaven, we declare this service open in your name. We ask that you comfort Joe and all those who are associated with his family. We ask, O oh Lord, that you comfort his aged parents in the hometown. Strengthen and direct them and let it be well with them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We will go on with singing the opening hymn, In Christ Alone. Because indeed, it is in Christ alone that we must put our hope, our light, our strength, and our song. He is our cornerstone, and he is this solid ground. Please welcome with me the Trinity Voices of the Trinity House to take the theme which you'll find on page 3 of your bulletin. Thank you very much. God bless you all.
Somebody praise the living God. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks because in all things, you've asked us to give you thanks and praise. We bless your holy name even at this time. We ask that even as we worship you, I wash you with rice to you as a sweet smell and savor. When I am down and hold my soul so weary, when trouble comes and my heart is burning, and I am still and waiting in the sky until you come. I feel a while with me. You raise me up so I can see it all something. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. Oh, my God. 
the celebration of life of Cormel Inca Odumaki. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have more recognitions to make and immediately we we'll move to the next item on our program. I would like to recognize the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, your President with us. Please join me as I recognize the President of Senator Ope 
Family Daily. Please be my first point. You're welcome, sir. Also in our midst today is Senator Ajibola Bashir. Please a big round of applause for him. You're welcome, sir. Also in our midst today is Senator Ajitumobi. Please a big round of applause for him. Here yeah, present with us is the Chief of Staff to Mr. Governor of Lagos State, the person of Mr. Tyler. Andy. Please a big round of applause for him. You're welcome, sir. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Also here present in our midst is a immediate past president of Onai is a Indigo worldwide and person of Inai John Kongwodo. You are welcome, sir. The Corps Marshal FRSC. Federalist Road Safety Commission is here in our midst. Once I get the name, I would like to recognize them. But before then, please join me as a welcome pastor, gentlemen of the Trinity House, to take over uh, with the first Bible reading. Please a big round of applause for me. Bible says, blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Almighty God will comfort everyone under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. To take our first Bible reading, we are taking our first Bible reading from the book of John, John chapter 11, verses 19 through to 29. John 11, 19 through to 29. I will invite Pastor Tony, okay? to take the first Bible reading. Pastor Tony, please. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I stand on the existing protocol to welcome all of you. The first Bible reading is taken from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 19 to 29. I read in Jesus' name. And when and many of the Jews have joined the women around Martha and Mary, to comfort them concerning their brother. 20. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. 21. Then Martha said unto Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 22. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. 23. Jesus said unto her, Your brother will rise again. 24. Martha said unto him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. 26. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? 27. She said unto him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. 28. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, her sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling you. 
to deny and denounce Christ. As soon as she has heard that, she rose quickly and came unto him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much, sir, for the word of God. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we move to the next set of tribute. Please join me as a welcome to the podium. No other person than Barrister Femi Falano, S.A.N. Please a big round of applause for him as he step forward. To you, okay, Odumaki, I wish once again to express my heartfelt sympathy with the family. When I was coming here this morning, I asked myself whether I should join this gathering to celebrate my aburo because by our culture, you do not attend the funeral program of your younger ones. But getting here, I could not believe my eyes when I saw septuagenarians, octogenarians, and nonagenarians. I can see our papa, Chief Ayo, Adebayo. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for bringing up Yinka and making him committed totally to the transformation of our country from a land of poverty to a land of prosperity. Yo, I believe very sincerely that you will not allow the dreams of being to shatter. I know as a caring comrade, as a loving mother, that you are going to take care of the parents of Yinka. Please keep up the struggle. I first met him in 1986. He had been dismissed as a bona fide student of the Upper Femme University. I think it was, yeah, it was still University of Ifeda. So this young lad rushed to Lagos and came to our office to ask for legal services. My boss, the late Alawa Kabashon, Dispatch me to Ife to ensure that Nyinka and several other students were restored into the campus. We did. And on the basis of an expert application, the court ordered that they be allowed to resume their studies. Of course, when the substantive came, case came up, it was a walkover for the students. Since then, Ian Kaudumaki had remained a very reliable comrade, a very, very progressive individual whose commitment to the task of building a nation, a nation called on social justice and fair play. A nation of prosperity. A nation that can do the continent proud and the entire black people. Unfortunately, we lost Nyeka in the thick of the struggle. Therefore, 
For all the politicians gathered here today, our senators, our governors, and former governors, and officials of the government, the best way, the best tribute you can pay to Joe Ilanyega is to go back and ensure that his dreams of a united nation, his dreams of a country of a country that we can all be proud of is realized. We are gathered here today not to celebrate in castle wealth. He had no wife. We are gathered here today not to celebrate the Eka's riches. He was not a man of materialism. But we are here to celebrate his rich ideas. We are here to celebrate Eka's consistency. We are here to celebrate Eka's courage. We are here to celebrate his relevance and his integrity and his humility. For such a man, the best one we can honor him, all of us, is to really dedicate ourselves to the struggle to make this nation a better one. We are not here money in that. We are here to hear what that could motivate us. to be committed to the struggle that he has fought for in his lifetime. Let me challenge the authorities of the Obama Wallowa University to appreciate that many of the leaders of this country today you can see a friend of Namimiko and our senators were built by our universities, starting with Obafemi Awolowo University, because the management, the management had come out to say that Nika was an illustrious alumnus of that great institution. What made Nika an illustrious alumnus? was that it was developed by the student union. That student union has been proscribed indefinitely. Therefore, the best symbol that if authority can pay to Inca is to restore, to deproscribe the University of Ife student union, or Bafemi Awolowo student union. Let me challenge the rest of us. To appreciate that our country is going down the drain. Our country is collapsing. Our country is failing as a state. He can wish that all of us, he can dream is that this country be rebuilt, that this country be claimed, reclaimed from the hands of five hands of political buccaneers so that we can live a life of integrity. Inca should not have died if you must know if we had functional medical facilities in our country. Inca was not privileged to go abroad to treat headache or earache. You know what I mean. Therefore, all of us must now insist as Ika insisted in his lifetime that the provisions of chapter 2 of the Constitution be actualized so that our people can live a life of prosperity. Though, let me leave you with this challenge. I met both of you separately, and it was my greatest joy that both of you wanted to make a point in your belief in national integration. 
by consuming your marriage, consummating your marriage. And that marriage has been fruitful for the Nigerian people. Now that Yika has gone to the other side, you, you must not allow people to miss Yika, and I know you are capable to do that. I know you are made of a woman of iron will, a woman of determination. Please, let us all keep up the struggle to make our country a better place. I would like to thank our pastor, who has been very wonderful, Pastor Ichua Igodani. May Almighty God continue to bless your wisdom and allow people like you, pastors of liberation theology, to multiply in our country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. You have always been a spoken concerning nation building and one Nigeria. God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to recognize the presence of Mr. Hayo Odumakin, the head of order of uh, Comrade Inca Odumakin. You're welcome. Every represented by the DCC and Tony Daudo, uh, the Zona Head of Operation Zone 2. You're welcome, sir. And also standing in for Pastor Tunde Bakari, I would like to uh, recognize the President of Pastor Ike. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, more tributes coming in for who a lot of us see as a hero for who is always was always speaking for the commonwealth of the nation for someone who fought and is still fighting because he's gone away please join me as a welcome the immediate president of Anese Indigo Worldwide Chief John Umwodo for his tribute. Please a big round of applause for him as a step Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with all due respect, I'd like to rest on already established protocol. When you live in a country where your children are enjoying a low standard of education, a low standard of living, an eclipsed hope of rising above you with all hard work. And you keep quiet. You are not Yenka Oduak. When you live in a country where a few group of soldiers get together and wrestle power and seize the governance of our country, and 23 of them write a constitution and impose on you, and impose principles in this constitution that lay indelible foundations for nepotism and for the shattering of standard for development. You are not yet now. When you are afraid to speak to people who have gotten to power in all kinds of inconceivable ways, simply because they control the instruments of governance, when you know you are speaking the truth, you are not Yinka Odumaki. 
when you think that what concerns you is more important than what concerns all of us and our children and their future. And you are prepared to be there back and you do not care. You are not Yeka Odumaki. When you live in a country where elections are rigged with impunity, where it takes our courts sometimes one year to decide who wins an election, and you keep quiet, you are not Yeka Odumaki. We have gathered today to pay tribute to a man of exemplary character, courage, who in a very short time in life has left his name in the indelible footprints of history. But these eulogies, these words mean nothing if the example of Yinka dies. The greatest tribute we can give to Yinka is to take upon each one of us here should take upon a touch of Yinka Udumaki. Those things you felt that made you come here, made you devote your time to mourn him in a respectable and dignified manner. Fight for those ideals. A country is bad because people who can get up to change it keep quiet. You may be materially prosperous, but that's not where it ends. A tree does not make a forest. A country is great by the great number of people who enjoy good standard of living and who are productive. This is what our friends fought for. Yinka was my friend. He was my colleague in the Southern and Middle Belt Leadership Forum. At a meeting, Yinka would speak his mind. And very often, his mind will constitute the conclusions of that meeting. At a meeting, before the meeting ends, the conclusions of that meeting and the community. That's a broad one. That was stepping forward where others refused. I don't want to bore you with a long speech. All I ask you is your grief is genuine. Light up the candle. Leave out the ideals of this great man. Make you got a human peace so rest in perfect peace. Ladies and gentlemen, your excellence is distinguished. I would like to announce the arrival of the governor of Lagos State, the state of Western, the person of Mr. Governor Baba GD Songul. Please a few round of applause for him. A few round of applause for him. You're welcome, sir. You are highly recognized. Sir. Let me also especially recognize the arrival of the leadership of the host organization of this event with the family, the panel of social political organization, the entire leadership of Afed Ferry have just joined us. And they are led by no other person than the leader, the acting leader of Afed Ferry, Pan Chief. Ayo, Adebanjo. Can we please specially recognize and welcome the leadership of Afeni Ferry, led by our leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo. Baba, you are welcome. We welcome the Afeni Ferry family from all over Nigeria. You are welcome. Please, uh, 
Honorable Christman, please, we have to reposition ourselves. Please. Gentlemen of the press. The former governor of the Namis is joining me as I recognize the of Dr. Peter. You're welcome, sir. The Commission of Police in Lega State here present in our midst. C.P. Kim Odumosu, you're welcome, sir. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Give him more tribute about a great man. Please join me as a welcome, Mr. Demola Onyilola, for the next set of tributes. Please, a big round of applause for him as he step forward. Once again, I would like to announce, gentlemen of the press, kindly reposition it to dignitaries in our midst. Please, would like us to play the high. Thank you. Mr. Demola Oyinola. Joe, you are the very first person I'd like to recognize here this afternoon. Others have tried to follow existing protocol, but I'd like to focus on you this afternoon. I want to thank God for your life and for the life of your husband, Yenka Utumaki. But I have only just been constricted to pay tribute to your darling husband. Actually, more than come here very quietly and leave, just like um, FF said a short while ago, you really don't want to attend. Our funeral service of someone who is much younger. But I thank God that I came. And I'm very, very glad to be a part of this. I'd like to congratulate you, Joe, because your husband lived a very, very great life. This is enough consolation because there are people who have lived 80, 90 years, they haven't achieved a quarter of what Ginka has achieved in 55 years. I know you have quite some time now. And I know I can say that Ginka was a very fearless gentleman. He was a patriot of no mean order. And if you look at the outpouring of love and what people have said following his demise, I think you should be greatly consoled that this is the best time for him to depart this very sinful world. If he had lived a hundred years, I doubt if he would have been celebrated the way he's been celebrated today. So that's the reason why I said I'd like to congratulate you, Joe. Um, just to be a very, very courageous person. He was a hated Nigerian patriot. When I visited Joe the second time in the residence, I had the privilege of listening to her. I had very deep insights into events that led up to the demise of Inka and how he was still struggling, working, writing, 
doing things to make sure that this country is a better place. Whereas I say this is a celebration, I also think there's something deeply very sobering about this event. We have a 93-year-old grandfather and leader of Afeni Ferry Power, Ayo Adebanjo, here today. A 93-year-old coming to celebrate the life of Inca. I think that tells you that, as usual, the people of Nigeria will win ultimately. This is a road we have traveled before. And I see that there are so many people in denial. You say that things are fine, okay. But I know that Yinka has not struggled in vain. Ultimately, it is the people that would win. Once again, Joe, I congratulate you because Yinka has lived a very, very fantastic and wonderful life. And I assure you that all of the things he struggled for in his lifetime, we will truly realize. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you very much. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to recognize the President of the Speaker, Federal House of Representatives, the President of Right, Honorable Femi Bajabine Amila. You are welcome, sir. Again, I would like to announce, please, um, gentlemen of the press, kindly allow the governor and the speaker and all the dignitaries to see what is going on on the podium. Can we reposition ourselves, please? Gentlemen of the press, please, I plead with you. Take the necessary pictures now and give us that space. Please. Again.